Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from salads, sandwiches, and chafing dish recipes of 1916, we're going to be making the Palo Alto sandwich. And remember, Palo Alto in 1916 was not Silicon Valley, so it's uh, not a high-tech sandwich. Okay, to cream butter we add French mustard, grated cheese, didn't specify what kind, so I'm using a mild cheddar. And of course sugar, chopped onion, chopped capers, chopped sweet pickle, and chopped stuffed olives. Give that a big old mix. Now we're to put that on buttered, thinly sliced bread. Okay, let's give this Palo Alto sandwich a go. So, lots of butter, getting the Dijon mustard up front, and then it gets immediately followed by the sugar and the sweet pickles, which... I don't know if I'm into it, but uh... I may try and plus it up a little. I'm gonna plus it up with some of these thin and crispy potato chips. Didn't have any salt in there, so it's gonna bring a little salt and a little texture. Okay, let's give this Palo Alto sandwich plussed up with a little thin and crispy salted potato chips a go. That actually works. Getting a little texture, a little saltiness to counterbalance the sweet and the tanginess from the Dijon. I kind of like it now. <laughs> well, I gotta say the original Palo Alto sandwich is a bit confusing. It's got the Dijon, the sharpness of Dijon, but then it's got sweet pickles and sugar. Um, and then of course you got onions and other things in there as well. It's not sure what it wants to be. Clearly it's a tea sandwich of sorts, um, but yeah, I don't know. I think I would probably give that like a four. Plus up with the thin and crispy salted potato chips, it's like a five and a half. I will finish this uh, particular half sandwich. I don't know that I'd ever make this again, but now it's not so bad. All right, see you tomorrow. Oh.